On this bit life, we're getting into the life of a soldier and how they recover from all the work they do, the exercises they do in the morning. We're here with two sergeants, Jaden Sosinski, Louis Arias, and Sapper Soldier. What is a Sapper Soldier? So Paul, a Sapper Soldier is a individual who's trained and proficient in mobility, counter mobility, and survivability, providing that to their task force commander. All right. I know just for me and my exercise, I get sore. You guys must really have some, some hot spots. So how do you work that out? So, Paul, a technique that we use is a self-myofascial release uh, method. So I'm sure, you know, people have seen these tools in the gym and not really knowing what mm -hmm. they are. Um, they're just very cheap tools. You've got a golf ball there, and this is just simply two uh, lacrosse balls taped together and then you can even use a piece of PVC pipe pick, pr picked up from your local hardware store but today we've got an actual foam roller that's designed for this so the intent behind this is that we break up the abrasions to facilitate the recovery process okay. so the first thing that we're going to do is Sergeant Arias is going to lay down on the foam roller the back is a very large muscle so he's just going to do a long flush out starting from the base of his neck and roll out down to his waist now what he's looking for is what we call trigger points or hot spots the abrasions that we talked about in the myofascial is going to create a little bit of pain and if you're new to this it's going to be you know an unpleasant experience at first once he finds that there's a couple different methods he can take he can do a long flush and just continue rolling over that hot spot mm -hmm. or he can use his body weight and basically put pressure on that abrasion trying to break it all loose okay and what do you, I call this a peanut it looks like a peanut to absolutely me. what do you do with that so this is something for hard to reach areas so we just roll out uh, certain areas his back so if you want to rotate towards the camera obviously you have your spine that runs right up through the center of your back right now with that foam roller across his back there's going to be muscles that are not touched so you can use the foam roller to pinpoint those muscles so he's got a space here that's mm -hmm. going to compensate for the spine and actually apply pressure on those muscles that run close to his spine so you can use the peanut to get in a little bit more uh, focused area yes that's okay. right Paul okay and then the golf ball the golf ball I'm not gonna hit this with a with a club today no you're not Paul no. so you can go ahead and take your shoes off okay so yes. everybody you know has sore feet time to time you know pretty common with regardless of what your job description is so same thing you're gonna put the golf ball down on the ground and step on it with one foot okay. and you're simply gonna apply as much body pressure as you uh, can okay. or yep. body weight and then once you find hot spots you can roll it around that abrasion or you can just sort of stand on it for a little bit. That's probably pretty painful, right, Paul? It is. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you would try to do this as long as you possibly can, so three to five minutes, and then you would rotate feet. Okay, an important thing to do for people in the military, but also for other people who get out and exercise is recovery. Absolutely, Paul. On this bit line.